Hello, 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 hello everybody. Thank you once again for joining me. And it's time for another ASMR, ASMR experience, okay? So imagine, imagine you are dreaming of taking a nice warm bubble bath, a foam bath, but it is unlike a typical foam bath. Something would happen after. And so, before you begin the imagination experience, I'm going to warn you that this dream involves a bit of needles and vaccines and flu shots. So if you are scared of needles like I was when I was little, this video might give you extra tingles, extra ASMR tingles. So with that out of the way, let's get into this topic. So your dream starts, your dream starts. You are in a washroom and you are inside a bathtub. A typical bathtub with a curtain on your side that separates the bathtub and the rest of the washroom. You are taking a nice warm foam bubble bath. The water is warm, you feel the water flowing through and touching your body. You lift your hand up and pour some water down your head to keep yourself soaked. And you put your hand back down, you feel the softness of the foam, the foam bubbles that are suspended on top of the water as you look down. Forward, you notice like a blanket of foam bubbles covering most of the water on the bathtub. As it looks like snow, but it's warm. And you could hear the water flowing and the bubbles popping like teeny tiny fizzing and tiny popping. Like you would hear something similar to soda fizzing. And so you are enjoying this foam bubble bath inside a bathtub. But as you are taking the bathtub, as you are bathing and soaking yourself, you notice something a bit off. You notice something a bit off of the bathtub. You don't know why you have not noticed this before, but the bathtub looks, looks like it's oddly shaped. The bathtub is oddly shaped. It's still a rectangular bathtub, but it looks much longer than you would typically see for a bathtub. The bathtub's width is fine, but the length looks like it is five times longer than the typical bathtub, maybe even more. You look straight ahead and you could see the faucets that are really, really far away. You notice that the faucets really lie like 10 or even up to 20 meters away. Like you're looking down a hallway, but like the bathtub is as long as a short hallway, narrow hallway. The walls around this bathtub and the room inside of, and like the rat washroom you are in in general are yellowish, mono colored, and off white or something like that. It's like lighter, like a color of an omelet, but lighter. Mm -hmm. 
So you're still experiencing a bubble bath, but the bathtub is like five times longer. So as you are taking the bathtub and you're really confused, you notice that your parents are coming in. And you then realize that the, the foam has completely vanished. Like you see the foam, but like 10 or so seconds later after you notice that the, water, the bathtub is like much longer, you notice that. You notice that the foam has all disappeared. So your parents come in and you are lying down at one end of the bathtub and the other end is like much further. Your parents come in and they ask, where did the soap go? Where did the soap go? And so you are confused and you see that that they are all gone, like the, like the soap is all gone. But then suddenly, like 10 or sec, as you try to say something, as you try to say something, you notice that you, more of the foam is coming out of your mouth. And you realize that the foam that was in the bathtub wasn't actually foam. It was some other substance that's coming out of your mouth. You were thinking like 10 like three minutes ago you were you were in this bathtub and feeling the foam and realizing that the foam is actually like the pus or something or substance or bodily fluids that are coming out of your mouth so your parents your parents feel worried and you need to get help so Suddenly, you went from experiencing a warm, relaxing bull bath all the way to having the urge, yeah, like needing help to end, and you somehow become sick. Yeah, you suddenly realize the reality that you are sick and you need to get help, and your parents say, it's time to get a flu shot or some sort of vaccine or something. So he then become really, 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 really panicky that you somehow are really sick. You've got all this pus and bodily fluids coming out of your mouth, foam like substance, white foam. And you need to get help and you need to get that treated. And so your parents suggested you to take a vaccine. And so you quickly rush out of the bathtub and you go in full mode and you decide to go in, to go and get help. So you rush out of your house and you quickly think, kind of illness that you are having what illness that's causing you to to vomit more of these foam like substances like it's not coming from the food you're eating but it's like such coming from probably a weird condition that you need to get that fixed and no it is not covid it is not covid oh. Although you may think that you're getting a vaccine in your dream, it is definitely not COVID, but rather some strange, strange illness that's causing you to vomit foam. So you then, you then had rush to the clinic and proceed to get help and get the shot. And so normally, when you go for a vaccine, or at least in my area, the procedure is like this. You go into the waiting room. You fill out some documents and fill out your medical information and the allergies that you have. And a bit followed by like a short questionnaire saying like 
basic questions like, do you get a weird reaction if you get the shot? Or have you had a shot in the previous three months or something? Or questions like, are you afraid of needles? And questions like, another question is, like, the question is, like, what allergies? What, do you ever had a severe allergic reaction 15 minutes after you get the shot? So, basically assume that that happened in your dream. You don't remember what you did in the waiting room besides waiting. And so, probably, you don't know why, but why your parents suggested you to get the shot. But they probably know that this shot will treat your condition. So, you then proceed to wait and and eventually, eventually, your turn has arrived. It's time for you to get to the shot. So once your turn has arrived, you notice something, a feeling like a deja vu. You, once you have your turn and you may go your way to the area or the room where you're supposed to be getting your shot, you experience this deja vu because you have to go to this hallway, a pretty narrow hallway, and the walls of the hallway are yellowish, monocolored, off-white walls, which is like, very similar to the walls that you have on your washroom to where you were a half hour or so ago when you were at the bathtub. The walls of that hallway in that clinic are the same color as the color of the hallway of the bathtub in the washroom you were in. And so as you are going down the hallway, in the middle of the hallway is one person, one person who is apparently waiting for you. So this person this person, this person is probably a person that's going to give you and administer your shot, your jab. So then, so then you decide to walk up to the person and you assume that this is the one. He is the, he or she is the one that gives you the shot. So you say, I'm here for the vaccine. And the person nods or some sort. You don't remember like through any other questions the person asks. Then you realize that 30 seconds later, after you say that you are ready to take the shot, you realize that it's a woman that's giving you the shot. So yeah, once you are ready to take the shot, the person, the person shows a needle and you are expected to go and proceed what you have to do. So, you roll up your sleeves, whatever arm you used, and you, you raise your arm to the so-called doctor that will administer your shot. And she, she is pretty, pretty ready. And you are so you are now expecting her to jab your, give your jab onto your arm, but it is not expecting, you are not expecting what she will do next. It is something that you don't expect. So what else happened? 
is that he did not expect it, but she, instead of putting the needle into your arm, she takes a small needle and puts it entire, entirely. She misses, she does not go into your arm, but she takes that needle and takes your hand and jabs it in the middle of the palm of your hand and it hurt quite a bit you feel the pain of the needle and then two seconds later it's done and she says all done you're good to go it's finished or something very similar so to recap instead of her putting the needle into your arm she takes that small needle and takes your hand and jabs it into the middle of your palm and then after that those two seconds and after she says that it's done it's finished your dream kind of ends you don't remember you don't remember what else happened after you take the shot you don't remember if you improved if your condition has improved or whether you are you managed to get better and not vomit anymore of this foam like you had in your bathtub but everything else kind of vanishes like everything else fades away all the memories that happens after you got the shot vanishes and your dream ends there so this will be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed the asmr experience that you got hopefully this does not give you any any bad flashbacks of vaccinations if you were scared if you are scared of needles i am sorry but this video this dream that you are imagined you were imagining is based off a dream another video that i made three years ago after the covid lockdowns where i had a dream like this one and i wanted you to imagine such a dream that i had where i was in a bathtub and i had to take a random flu shot or some sort of vaccine so this is it and i'll see you in the next video